In this video, I'm going to be showing you the newest program by Gray Technical, which is called Log Evolve. So, once you go to the website and you have downloaded the free trial of our program, you can go ahead and install it, and that's what I'm going to be doing right here. Now, I have actually set up my computer to give this error message right here whenever you go to install. And what this is, is it says that you do not have administrative rights to install a program. So, if you get this error, all you need to do is right click on the program and go to run as administrator. And as you can see, we have a new window right here that's asking us to install. So yes, we would like to install. So what is Log Evolve? Well, Log Evolve is a software that you can take any kind of graph or data that is a JPEG or any kind of image or even PDFs, for instance, these right here. You can see that we have graphs and say that you just have an image file you do not have any of the actual data that you can use that you can input into other software well log evolve will allow you to uh, to impose a graph over top of these images and then trace out the values so you can have the data from it it is a graph digitizer so i'm going to go ahead and go back set all this up and i would like to create a desktop icon and install. Now this software is a very low key software. It does not require very much resources or anything else actually. It will run pretty smoothly on any software, well any computer. For instance if we go into the program files you can see exactly how large it is. Okay, you can see that this whole program is just seven megabytes in size. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And as you can see, it has opened a window right here. And it says I currently have 27 days left on my trial version. And the reason why this it says this is because I have already installed this a couple days ago. This is actually Monday, and I installed it on Friday and ran my trial to make sure that everything was going smoothly. So I'm three days behind. Normally you will get a trial that lasts 30 days, like this right here. So that's a 30 day window. If you'd ever like to activate your license, you can go to Get License. You can activate it online if you already have a license and you've already purchased a key. Or you can go to the offline registration and you can plug in your uh, license key right here to generate an offline license activation. So right now we already have the trial in, so I'm going to go ahead and go to continue, and we now have Log Evolve brought up right here. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go to File and Open, and as you can see, you have different options such as Image, Project, or PDF. I'm going to go ahead and open Images because I've already shown you some of the images that we had. Okay, as you can see, we have these graphs right here that are currently JPEGs. We can select multiple ones such as the JPEGs with the E in it, PNGs which we don't have any. We have a few GIFs, uh, TIFF images, we have those. We don't have any bitmap Im images in there right now or we can view all files. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick something fairly simple. We'll go back and we'll do multiple ones so I can show you but I'll just pick this one right here. It's a fairly simple one to load up. So I'm going to zoom out here, and I'm zooming out with the mouse wheel. I'm just rolling backwards. You can also zoom out by clicking here, and you can zoom in, or you can zoom out. And this number that is below it will specify how fast that you want to zoom. All right, now I'm zoomed out, and what I want to do is I want to be able to see all the graph. Now, if you notice that your graph needs to be rotated, all you need to do is click down here to this rotate button, and you can rotate your graph or image based upon a percentage, which will show up right here. So I'm actually going to put that back down to zero. We have right here that our graph loaded. Which I'm going to go ahead and line that up so you can see that. I'll hide that back. If we want to do any photo edits to this, such as brightness or editing, we can just by adjusting the brightness. And as you can see, it changes the brightness there. 
sometimes it makes it a little bit easier to see. I'll explain what this window right here is in a minute. Now, if we want to crop, we can crop this image as well. So say that we only want to show this much of the image. We just click the crop button, drag and out the window that you want to crop, and select it down and there you have a cropped image. We also have other effects which would not be very useful for this image right here. I'll go ahead and show them off so you can see. We have a sharpen tool which will sharpen up the image. I don't know if you could tell much of a difference. So it just finished up and if we go back up here we can go to emboss and that is another feature that you, you you will definitely see that so you can see that it is changing right here sometimes it's a lot easier to emboss an in, in image and it will help you see the lines better in this case I don't really think it does so as soon as this gets done embossing I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna hit edit undo so I can undo that and we also have the rotation so this will rotate it left right flip it horizontally or flip it vertically now I'm going to point out these chart options. This right here is a vertical chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to options, chart options, and as you can see, it is a vertical chart. So it's going to be vertical points. I already have that set up right there to the default, which is vertical points and reverse Y, which means that the zero for the Y axis will start at the top. The same with this log. So we have all that set up. If you'd like to change that, which I will later on the next chart that we uh, digitize, you can. By clicking this bar right up here, you can move the graph. Now, I just locked the image before. Normally, you would not have the graph locked whenever you first adjust this. The reason why I did is because I was making some photo edits and I didn't want that to keep refreshing. What you do is whenever you're ready to lock the image, you just lock it down like this and your image will stay the same in there. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock it again because we want to adjust it. And what you want to do is you want to move this graph around until it is lined up to where you want the markers to be. For example here, the y-axis straight down through here we can see it starts at 1200 and ends at thir uh, 1360. So I'm going to go right over here to the minimum y which is 1200 if it will let me type. All right, and the maximum Y is 1,360. And as you can see, it's already adjusted that right there. So the minimum X, I'm not really for sure what that is on this graph, so I'm going to leave it at zero. I'm going to put the maximum X at 100. All right, now you can see that this graph is already adjusted. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that your graph lines up with the image that's behind it. So I'm just going to click and drag these over, make sure they line up. So we got the x-axis lined up pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and drag this down so we can line up the y-axis. And there's also a move button down at the bottom in case you need to move the graph up higher than what you are visibly seeing. So I'm going to move that. Let's see. So our graph right now, it starts at that and ends right about there. So that is pretty spot on. So I got the graph where I want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lock the image. And what this will do is I can zoom in now and the graph will not change. Now, we come to the point where we need to add data. It's very simple to do. All you need to do is get your pen tool. And if you click it, it will activate the basic pen. If you get the arrow down, it will have individual pen options. So the first pen will just add points wherever you click, or if you have the mouse button held down, it will add points automatically. Very helpful in case you have a tablet hooked up. You can just trace right over, uh, right over top of the lines, and it will add points for you. The add pen will, in case you have two points, let me just go ahead and show you that. I'm going to activate the regular pen. I'm going to click a point, 
and I will click a point right here. As you can see, it drew a line for me, and we have the points associated right over here to the right. So if we want to add points in between those two points, we can go to Add Points. And what it'll do is it'll pick up if it's a vertical chart, horizontal chart, and whenever you click a point, it'll add a point in between those two selected areas. So let's say that you accidentally make a point. So let's say I make a point over here. I don't like that. Well, I can go back in and I can go to Pin Sub, which will remove one data point. And I can click that and it's gone. The other option that we have here is a pin sub selector. So what you do is you select the point that you'd like to start and the end point, and it'll come up and say, do you want to delete all the points in between? And you hit yes. And as you can see, all the points in between have been deleted. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to delete those. And I'm going to start this with a mouse down. So I'm going to just click the pin tool. And I'm going to start by clicking and I'm holding down the mouse and as you can see it is adding points for me automatically as I go with the chart. Now you can do the chart conversion like this or you can just click to add points as you go. Either way is fine. The more points you have the more of a realistic translation you will have of the data because more points will allow you to be able to graph more areas. So we have that area. We can go ahead and scroll down here and keep going with the graph. Now I am not speeding this uh, recording up at all. This is real time. So as you can see it is adding the points fairly quickly. I'm actually doing this with a mouse. I do not have a tablet hooked up. However, I have tested this with the tablet and it works much smoother with a tablet and a pen. You can just easily trace right over that. And I'll just add one more point right there.